Hi, I'm Furly Kitty, and I'm going to show you how to create thigh squish on your Vroid model without needing to take it into Blender. The prerequisites for this tutorial is that you have Vroid Studio stable version, version 1.11.0 or higher, as this is when the bodysuit was added. If you're using Vroid Studio Beta or a lower version of Vroid Studio, you will not be able to follow along with this tutorial. I will put a link in the description down below to the Vroid Studio site where you can install the latest version of Vroid Studio so you can follow along with this tutorial. So I have Vroid Studio 1.22.1 open here with a tutorial model that I want to be slightly thicker in the thigh area because I want to create a thigh squish with the stockings that I've added to this character. Now I've added the stockings via the bodysuit option so that it isn't directly connected to the leg, it's got that little gap there. But I want this character to be slightly larger and have that sweet sweet thigh squish that we all aim to achieve in life. So. The first thing I'm going to do is in the body section of Vroid Studio, I'm going to scroll down all the parameters and I'm going to locate waist width and I'm going to turn that all the way up. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the outfit tab, inner top, custom, create new, and I'm going to create a new bodysuit. I have already done this, so I will edit the texture. I've already created a skin for my model, so what you can do is you can import your skin texture onto the bodysuit. So here we have the skin texture, and we can open that, and it applies to the bodysuit of this model. Any skin textures that you make for the body can be applied to the bodysuit. It's essentially the same guide, there's just a couple of things on the guide that aren't in, uh, in the bodysuit version in comparison to the uh, the regular body and I will show those on screen now. But as you can see it's already made a slight difference. Our model looks slightly thicker. The stockings are on a different section of the bodysuit so I clicked on add template and then added another bodysuit. So what I'm going to do in the top layer which has our body texture on it I'm going to click on these, this little icon here which takes us to the parameters. I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to look for lower thigh puff. And if I pull this out, you can see that it creates a slightly larger top of the leg. It's going to clip and it's going to look a little bit wonky for the moment, but don't worry too much about that. So I'm going to set that to about 20. And then the other thing that I'm going to do, because Vroid models also lack any sort of calf muscles, I'm going to use the ankle puff slider, which is down here. I'm just going to bring that up slightly as well. So don't worry too much, we've lost the stockings, but what we can do is click on the parameters icon for the stockings and then we can do a very similar thing. What we're going to do in the parameters is we're going to ignore the upper thigh puff and we're going to use the ankle puff. And what we want is to increase the ankle puff enough just for, for our texture to clip and it creates this nice illusion that there is a, a thigh squish. Now there will be some clipping and how we can fix that is going back into our body texture, clicking that little plus icon to create a new layer. It's best to start a new layer. Take the color from the stockings and then draw onto the model. Have your symmetry selected draw onto the model just to marry that up and you can fix this in your drawing software if you want to take it out so 
So what we've done there is we've married it so that it won't look too bad. So that looks slightly better. Another thing that you can do is if you again create another layer on your body texture. So create another layer on your on your body texture with the skin. Move that layer down. Take the shadow color from your texture and draw directly onto the model just above that line that you created to marry those two, the bodysuit and the stockings together, just to create a shadow. If I zoom out slightly, you can see, I've only done the front, but you can see that it creates this nice shadow and this illusion of depth. And that is how you create thigh squish. If you have a model that has extra tall stockings instead of using the lower thigh puff you can use the upper thigh puff and then just move that stocking texture up and you see it's the same principle it gives the illusion of uh, that nice thigh puff but mess around, have fun with it, see what happens. So that's how you create the Vroid Thigh Squish within Vroid Studio itself without needing to take it into Blender and create it. It can all be done within Vroid and it looks pretty good. You can also do a similar thing with the arms. There is a sleeve, there's two sleeve puff versions. So if you have um, gloves on your Vroid model's arms and you want a little bit of arm squish, you can do the same thing. It's just all about marrying those two textures together so that there isn't like a hard line and just adding your own shading. I hope you enjoyed that really, really quick tutorial for the thigh squish in Vroid. Um, hopefully it's nice and easy and you can mess around with it. I'd love to see what you make with it. Please do hit me up on Twitter. All the links and stuff will be down below. Um, but yeah, create, have fun. Enjoy Vroid and I hope to see you again. I'm I'm hoping that I can make some some more Vroid tutorials for you and get more confident with it. But yes, have fun, enjoy, and I will see you later. Bye!